On today's show, we have Saints Peter and Paul bookends, a Mother Angelica framed print with a free DVD, the book, The Catholic Church Saved My Marriage, and a Saint Padre Pio bronze statue here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Welcome. Well, we are delighted that you have welcomed us into your home for this another fabulous episode of Religious Catalog. My name is Joy Pinto, and I am joined by my co-host, Ryan Penny. It is so joyful to be with you, Joy. It's going to be a great day, and we have some fabulous items to bring to you all. Well, we celebrate All Saints Day this week, and it's a wonderful time to reflect on the example that the saints give us. In addition to their witness to their faith, we know that they continue to help us and they intercede on our behalf. When we ask the saints to pray for us, we're not worshiping them or thinking that they have power on their own. Only God may be worshiped and all graces come from him. But the saints can pray for us, much like we pray for each other here on earth. So today, we're going to take a look at a few items regarding our heavenly friends. And I'm so glad that I have heavenly friends. I call on them often. Well, first we have this beautiful, fabulous butler, Lives of the Saints. It's a four hardcover volume. This revised edition includes the lives of 2,000 565 saints from the most imminent like Saint Jerome to the most unlikely such as Saint Christina the Astonishing. This is a great resource material for parish libraries and if you don't know a lot about the saints this is a great way to start reading and learning. And next to them we have these fabulous Saint Peter and Paul book and set. They are sets that make a wonderful Christmas present, especially for those who have many Bibles and other Christian books. And I'm sure that your parish priest could use this in his office. This set feature St. Peter on the right and St. Paul on the left. The figures are mounted on black stained wood. Each bookend measures four and three quarter inches by nine and a half inches. And now we have these available in your choice of this lovely pewter style finish with gold accents or a cold cast bronze. So it all depends on what the decorum is in the room. If they would pop better with pewter, then you would want to get those pewter ones. These bookends are sold individually on our website, but you can save $45 when you purchase them as a set. And we also sell them individually as statues. Too. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. I could use some of those at our house. My husband just loves to collect some books. Mm -hmm. Well, next I bring to you this beautiful Onisanti standing crucifix. It is just gorgeous. This unique crucifix is modeled after the recently restored masterpiece, a 15-foot wood crucifix in the Church of All the Saints in Florence, Italy. This colorful standing crucifix features the Blessed Mother on the left, St. John the Beloved on the right, and Christ the Teacher. Now the crucifix measures 10 and a quarter inches high. It's absolutely beautiful. It would be wonderful to put on a desk, to put in an office. Um, I have many holy reminders at my workplace um, and they are very helpful. They aid me in many ways. Beautiful. Next I have for you the Saint Michael Medal with Prayer. Now, this on the back of this medal is a prayer and it says, Saint Michael, guardian of the souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, pray for us. This sterling silver medal measures three and a quarter inches in diameter and comes on a 24 inch stainless steel chain. It's absolutely beautiful. You might want to get this for a grandson someone who's off at college, um, and we all need St. Michael praying for us. So beautiful, I love yes, it. Yes, we do. 
And here are two items that were designed especially for EWTN. The St. Joan of Arc Swarovski necklace and the matching Divine Grace Clear crystal earrings. And these are matching items, but they are sold separately and they are absolutely beautiful. The 18 inch necklace features a solid bronze of St. Joan of Arc metal and a smaller Jesus and Mary medals, which are also bronze. Now these beautiful earrings also feature a bronze Mary and Jesus medals. The beads on the necklace and the earring are high quality Swarovski crystals from Austria. Now these pieces are designed and handmade in the USA. Absolutely beautiful. You know, holy reminders can also be, can often be evangelistic. And I think that this St. Padre Pio bronzed mini sculpture does that magnificently. St. Padre Pio was a holy Franciscan mystic who received the stigmata while praying before a cross on September 20th, 1918. And he bore these holy wounds of our Lord for 50 years until his death in 1968. In this unique sculpture, Padre Pio is seated on one side of the crucifix, which also serves as a confessional. And notice how his hand is raised in absolution. On the penitent side of the confessional screen is the image of Jesus with his pierced hand in the place of Padre Pio's raised in absolution. It is a striking depiction of the reality of Christ's redeeming power in the presence of the priest during the sacrament of reconciliation. This statue is painted with a bronze finish and it measures 14 inches high. I love this statue, Joy. Well, we had the sculptor of that on our show on At Home with Jim and Joy, Timothy Schmoltz, and he did an absolutely yeah. job, wonderful job on that beautiful piece. There's so much truth to meditate on when looking at this. I mean, also, like the fact that, like all the sacraments, in confession, the graces yes. to absolve a sinner uh, come through the paschal sacrifice of our Lord, mm -hmm. which is depicted here, yeah. and the fact that when the penitent is confessing his sins. He's not confessing it just to this man. He's confessing it to our Lord who is in the confessional where nice. we, where we uh, encounter him and where he gives us the healing that we need because he is the divine physician. And the by freedom his, yes. and the deliverance that happens in that place. Exactly, and by his wounds we are healed. Next, we wanted to show you this striking statue of St. Andrew Kim Taigan, who was ordained the first native-born Korean priest. At the age of 25, he was arrested and sent to prison due to his Catholic faith. He was sentenced to death and was beheaded on September 16, 1846. This statue, which is designed to look like a wood carving, measures 17 inches high. And we thought that it would be appropriate to show you this statue because he would be a fantastic intercessor for asking for peace in Korea in these days, which is so dearly needed. Next, we wanted to show you this book about St. Maria Goretti in Garments All Red. In this book, Father Godfrey Pogue tells the true story of the 12-year-old who died a martyr of purity in 1902. She lived a virtuous life of poverty, holiness, and valiant resistance. After her death, Maria appeared in a dream to her murderer, which led him to a profound conversion. You know, what I love about her story as well is that her murderer was, who did experience a profound conversion after this dream, was present at her canonization. What a, what a marvelous testimony to the power of grace and of redemption that's, that's possible in Christ and, of course, in his great saints like St. Maria Goretti. Speaking of saints, I wanted to show you what's been very popular at EWTNRC, these tiny saint clip-ons. First, we have uh, saint, a clip-on of St. Gianna Mola. St. Gianna was a 20th century woman who sacrificed her life in order to save her unborn child. She is a great intercessor for the pro-life movement. 
And next is a Tiny Saint clip-on of Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati. Also in the 20th century, he was an Italian man who was known for his social activism, particularly charity work, which helped many poor people in Turin, Italy. He was beatified by St. Pope John Paul II in 1990. And since he is the patron of students, young Catholics, and World Youth Day, it's important to note that he died at the young age of 24. This clip-on would make a wonderful gift for a teenager or a young adult. And we also have a tiny saint clip-on of Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph, who is the patron saint of the Universal Church, not just the uh, foster father of our Lord, is the perfect role model that everyone should have. He is particularly needed for our young men in regard to chastity, responsibility, and listening to God. Each of these clip-ons has a sturdy clasp, and they're great for backpacks, for zippers, and keychains, and they serve as continual reminders of our heavenly friends. And we have several more of these Tiny Saint clip-ons that are available at EWTNRC.com. And right now we want you to take a look at a very special offer from EWTN Religious Catalog. With a simple click on your PC or smartphone, Holy Reminders can be on their way to your doorstep. Now with free standard shipping on orders of $75 or more. From the EWTN Religious Catalog website, buy Catholic, shop EWTNRC.com. Well, we want you all to take advantage of that free shipping online order that is over $75. Just another way to save some money. Well, Mother Angelica framed portrait. Now this beautiful portrait of our beloved foundress, Mother Angelica, is displayed under glass in a gold wood frame. The frame measures 10 and 3 quarter inches by 12 and 3 quarter inches. And it has an easel on the back or a hook for hanging. So however you choose to display it, you would just love to have it in your home. And when you purchase this, you also, this framed print, you will also receive a free Mother Angelica Classics DVD in which Mother Angelica discusses All Saints Day and Halloween. This originally aired on November 1st, 1994. And here's a clip from that episode. Really and truly, they, they wanted something of the saint because they knew they were in heaven. They knew they were martyrs, and for the first 300 years or more of, of the church, uh, most Christians became our every pope and most bishops became martyrs. And they knew that these people were sensitive. Even after uh, they died, they were in heaven, and there was a communion between the people on earth and the people who were martyred. That's why in the catacombs, they would keep the whole body of a saint. And you go through the catechisms, you find one saint after another, martyred under Diocletian, martyred under Nero, martyred under Caligula. And so from then on, we always knew that uh, there was a communion between us, that they, they weren't dead and gone, out of mind, out of sight. And, and that is the church triumphant. And here is a Father Benedict Rochelle book and a DVD set. In the book, After This Life, what Catholics believe about what happens next. Father Rochelle masterfully explains how consoling and uplifting the truths surrounding death, judgment, hell, purgatory, and heaven really are. Learn to live each day with confidence based on the mercy and love of our Savior Jesus Christ, who spoke often of death and the last judgment through his parables. And this set also includes Father Groeschel's Meditation on All Saints and Souls Day DVD. These meditations are both inspiring and informative, as you can see here. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. Don't be afraid of death. If you trust God, if you put yourself into the hands of Christ, if you ask forgiveness for your sins, if you've asked the saints and the angels to pray for you, 
go forth in peace. The running time on this DVD by Father Benedict Groeschel is one hour. You know, Joy, we do sell so many amazing books at EW10 Religious Catalog. They're just, just uh, like a seemingly endless supply. Yes. And so we've got two more books that we want to show everyone today, including a book that was recently featured on Women of Grace and has been incredibly popular. It's Dr. David Anders' new book, The Catholic Church Saved My Marriage, Discovering Hidden Grace in the Sacrament of Matrimony. When you purchase the book, you will receive a free DVD of Dr. Anders being interviewed by Marcus Grodi on the journey home. In his book, Dr. Anders shares his personal discovery and offers a robust defense of the church's teaching on marriage. Even the most controversial topics of divorce, remarriage, gay marriage, and contraception. With the church's teachings and the writings of the saints as his guide, Dr. David Anders offers practical, time-tested ways to live in peace despite an unhappy marriage. The set comes with a free DVD of Dr. Anders' first appearance on The Journey Home in 2010. And here is a clip from that program. So can, can I have the same certainty, objective certainty, about what is the Christian faith that the apostles had? Can I have the same certainty that the early church had? They, they, they knew what the Christian faith was. They knew with certainty that Christ taught with the divine authority a message from God of how to know Him and be in a relationship with Him. Can I know what that is? Can I know what Jesus said? What He taught? Well, only if He gives me the criteria. Only if Christ says, here is how you know what I said. Here is how you know what I teach. And He doesn't give us the canon of Scripture. He gives us the teaching church. And finally, today we wanted to show you a book that was recently featured on EWTN Bookmark, Debating Catholicism. This volume contains the complete text of four books, The Bible Battle, High Desert Showdown, Tracking Down the True Church, and Face Off with an Ex-Priest. They are edited transcripts of public debates that Carl Keating had with prominent anti-Catholics, men who devoted all or large parts of their careers to opposing the Church of Rome and its distinctive teachings. And here is Carl Keating discussing his book with Doug Keck. That's right, I've taken four debates that I was in, cleaned up the transcripts of them, and presented them here so that folks can see what it means to defend the faith in public, in a venue where you're being challenged. Mm -hmm. You don't need to learn a whole lot to be able to, to explain the faith to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just two or three points and you can make some impress on somebody else. You know, many Catholics don't understand the importance of apologetics. But 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15 says that we should always be prepared to defend our faith. And that is why it is vital to read at least one or two good Catholic apologetics books so that we can defend the faith to a friend, family member, or even a stranger who is trying to share his faith, who is trying to share his faith with us door to door. Or even when we have the opportunity, the open door, in a relationship with someone where we think that an aspect of the faith could be healing and helpful to them. It's a great opportunity to understand the faith so that we know how to share it. And now here's a recap of the items that we showed you today, as well as information about how to order. The items that Ryan and I brought to you today are the Butler Lives of the Saints hardcover, item number 6902, and you can purchase the beautiful Butler Lives of the Saints in hardcover for $160. The next item was St. Peter and Paul Bronze Book and Set. It's item number 7662K, and you can purchase that for $135. The next item we showed you were St. Peter and Paul Pewter Book and Set, item number 7662 PK, and you can purchase those beautiful bookends for $135. Next was the Onisanti Crucifix Standing, item number 65131, and you can purchase that beautiful crucifix for $32. We showed you the St. Michael Medal with Prayers, item number S. 
1-800-242-1601 and you can purchase that for $50. Next we brought you the St. Joan of Arc Clear Swarovski Bronze Necklace, item number NW1 and you can purchase that beautiful necklace for $67.50. The Divine Grace Mary and Jesus Swarovski Crystal Bronze Earrings, item number EW1, and you can purchase those beautiful earrings for $31.50. The St. Pio Bronze Mini Sculpture, item number PIO, and you can purchase that beautiful sculpture for $100. St. Andrew Kim Tagon statue, item number SA791, and you can purchase that item for $98. Next, Ryan showed you the St. Maria Gretti in garments, all red book. It's item number 1540, and you can purchase that item for $13. Ryan showed you the St. Gianna Mola tiny saint's clip. Item number H0293, and you can purchase that precious little saint clip for $5. Next, he showed you Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati Tiny Saints Clip, and that is item number H0315, and you can purchase that clip for $5. Next, he showed you St. Joseph Tiny Saints Clip, item number H0279, and you can purchase St. Joseph Clip for $5. Mother Angelica Framed Art with a free DVD. You can purchase that beautiful framed art of Mother Angelica, item number 99138K, and you can purchase that for $30. Finally, Father Benedict Rochelle Book and DVD Special, item number T679K, and you can purchase the book and the DVD, which is a special, right now for just $14. Ryan showed you the Catholic Church Saved My Marriage book and free DVD by David Anders, item number 80527K. That book and free DVD can be purchased for just $17.95. Next book was Debating Catholicism, item number 6271. You can purchase that book for $15 by Carl Keating. Now to order your holy reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure, 24 hours per day, seven days a week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. That is EWTNRC.com, or you can call 1-800-447-3986. Visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blast. Don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. Well, Ryan, again, it was my pleasure to work with you today. Such a joy. Well, we hope that you all enjoyed this beautiful time on Religious Catalog and that you go out to EWTNRC.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today. God bless you and have a great day.